Okay, sick, sick, sick. The gang's back. Art Collection podcast for episode 29. Back in the building. And like obviously, the past couple of days, there's been madness of the, the, the mass one. Shambolic! <laughs> sorry to shout, sorry to shout. AKM yeah, j- yeah, Jai's is M. Honcho. We have to announce that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, exactly. <laughs> We're trying to, so I do have the N-word pass, if anyone's wondering, so yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you, you heard it here first <laughs> exclusive but it's peak though I can't lie they're actually the guy that released his um, that actually released the well was recording him it's just mm. bare unnecessary because it's not going to damage the music it's just mm. hating there's just no point and the guy's obviously done it because he wants his privacy and then someone just decided oh yeah let me just release this video because of some spite I just don't get it I just think it's hella moist hella hella moist yeah, no, nah, I do think that that part is snaky, but then the kind of other side of that is like, <laughs> nah, wait, nah, wait, for it, wait for it, wait for it, land, bro, I land well. M Hunter, like, obviously, it's, it kind of ruins the mystique in a way, but he is an artist and he did kind of, he chose to put himself out there and like, when you're an artist, you kind of want to build up fan. You want to build no, up. No, I, I don't yeah. agree with that. Get attention. No, nah, I don't agree no, with that. Wait, just, wait, wait. Yeah, okay, land. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Let me, let me, um, and then, <laughs> so it's not like, I wouldn't say it's like, he obviously didn't want this to happen, but he kind of had to expect it like to happen because he's got, what, millions of people who mm. wanted to know what his face looked like mm. as well. So it's like, it was, it's unfortunate, but it was kind of always going to happen, I saw. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, MF Doom in it. That's an example where people respected <clears throat> his privacy for many, many years in America. So why can we not do the same for M. Honcho? I just think, I just personally think he's not taking away from his music. It's just hating. And if the guy wants to be, there might be a genuine reason he just wants to be private. And then mm. now everyone, everyone knows what he looks like. But. I think the mad thing, though, is like, it kind of, it's almost like um, it's like a superhero having like their identity taken away. Like they're like you re- yeah, you realize who's behind the mask, and you're like, oh, it's just yeah. like a regular guy. But you know, I think that that's the thing. I think the the most fucked up thing about it was the fact that there was literally like a thing when you're in studio with him, like no one records, like you shouldn't be recording. And like that guy to be so brazen to be like recording like sat right next to Dutch Avelli. And he's not hard. Was just Sorry, like, you're not what? hard for doing that. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Because the way your man was acting like he was a hard, like he was that was gangster. Like, oh yeah, yeah, man, man, man I was recording when I wasn't want, when I wasn't meant to. Just like a bad B. Like a bad B that's recording when you're smashing a rapper, you're not meant to be recording. That's what you feel, that's what you look like, G. Like a bad B. Sorry, I don't like I just don't like it. It's just but it is what it is, though. I guess the uh, like, secret's done. And I kind of, the other, like, side note, kind of funny but not funny point is, like, it was Dutch Avelli in the video as well. I just thought, like, he's had the maddest luck this past year, boy. Man, they are not pattern. He's not pattern. He's you can't, not do, you pattern. can't do right this year. No. Nah. Is what it is. Mm. But do, you think, do you think this is going to affect, like, his, like, releases this year? All of this going on, is he just going to plow through? Just get on with it. I don't know. He, 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 he might have to take off the mask now. I don't know. Like, nah, nah, nah. nah. Mate, yeah, I think, I think that because the mask is so wavy anyway, it's not like mm. a belly. It's like a, actually a sick. He's actually got it like pattern. Yeah, like, he designed it well still. So I think his whole his whole um, persona and that like people like it. So I, I think he'll be fine. I think people will get over it. It's just a bit. It's just a bit. Um, just a bit. I think just you're just hating from my man that dropped it that's all it was and mm. that's what that's all it's going to come out with no one's going to no one's going to back you for for dropping for showing that when realistically nobody nobody cared no one cared what everyone looked like it was just funny i just kind of i hoped it was chunks personally i hoped it was chunks <laughs> oh that'd be so funny if it was chunks this whole time oh my god yeah, but I, I feel like the majority of people have known that it was like he was like an asian guy for like mm. the whole whole time like you yeah, can even really. tell by like his melodies his sound mm. I think it's been quite big. I don't know, like, people seem shocked that he ain't black in it, but... Yeah, but like, everyone knew that, though. I saw, you know, he even said, he said it, though. I'm sure he tweeted that I'm not actually black. So that's why he stopped saying the N-word, because people were getting on to him about mm. it. 
and then he was like, I'm not going to say it. So, obviously, I, we knew he wasn't black. He's just, yeah. But, eh, here's what it is, I guess. Yeah. Well, yeah, hopefully, I don't know, he flips it to his advantage in, in some way. But, yeah, kind Fantasy. of in other controversial, but in a good way, we saw, like, um, end of last week, Bugsy and, and Chip. So, I just want to say one thing, yeah. Um, I don't think you should realise, yeah, that was the return of the segue. Well done. <laughs> well done. Yeah, he's like, oh, speaking of. <laughs> speaking of uh, controversy, um, <laughs> Bugsy and Chip. <laughs> How you guys doing? The Segway, the slider, there, obviously. Love that. What were, you, what were you saying? Yeah, but yeah, kind of in a, a sort of like, like growth and like, yeah, big man things. It's like, yeah, like we had the beef, we had the back and forth. I mean, apparently even got heated, obviously. Bugsy, he even went to Tottenham High Street. People were looking for each nasty. <laughs> yeah, bro, man, man, like big nasty as well. Like, and if anything, that, like, I don't know, like, if you, man, knew Bugsy before, but, like, his, that fan in the booth was, like, the first time I found out about him. So it was, like, mm. it was it was definitely a, a big moment for him. So it's, like, it's kind of sick to see it go full circle and then come together on the track. Definitely. I think I'm just, ha- I'm, I'm just happy that they kind of, um, um, they saw where the money was. The money was them making a the tune together. And also, the tune is fucking sick. It is oh, so sick. like oh. I was so surprised. Like I was, um, I must have seen it on the UK rap uh, playlist on Apple Music. Shout out Apple Music if you want to sponsor me, feel free. Uh, but yeah, so I've um, <laughs> I've gone on the yeah, on the cool. playlist. I've seen that come up, and then the the instrumental is ridiculous. Like yeah, man. So- there's even a couple. There's one reference that um, Bugsy did actually, which was good. So. Do you know when he starts using the rhyme scheme that Tupac used, the Hail Mary one, come with me. So he started using that rhyme scheme. Mm-hmm. And obviously the song is called Notorious. Obviously yeah. Chip's taking the Biggie side. Uh, what's his name? Buzzy Malone's taking the Tupac side. Like they're Biggie and Tupac. I don't like know if I'm reading too into it. Like that, yeah. that whole, that whole kind Chip of... He kind of said, oh, I don't want it to end how Big on Pac ended, didn't it? He so, kind of flipped it as well. So it's kind of the I think they're probably thinking behind it was like, oh yeah, I'm um like you're biggie, I'm Tupac, or I'm, I'm Tupac, you're biggie. We're the two greats. You're from Manny, I'm from London. Let's 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 make a banger. And I think it just showed in the it proof of the pudding. The, the song's ridiculous. The song is it's a shame though. It's like it's not coming out in summer because like summer I mean, there was no lockdown. Because I feel oh, like yeah, taking no, it would have been a summer banger, hundred. No, we oh, just yeah, need man. um. No, I was just gonna say we just need uh, Stormzy and Chip to make up now. I'm even confused how they're gonna oh, beef yeah. in the first place. I just yeah, don't I don't even know how that started. <laughs> I feel like Chip just woke up and said, "I don't like my man. I don't like him. He's making better not like him." He, it's the way that as well. Apparently, well, I, I mean, it's not even apparently. Like this was kind of fact. It's like the way that Chip was like baiting Stormzy to come out. Like you've got like um, this amount of time to reply, bro. Are you gonna reply, bro? Are you gonna reply? <laughs> Do it. And it was Do it now. just like that. <laughs> But the whole time. Like, no, I need to make money. I've got money to make. I need to get <laughs> yeah. rich. Oh, sorry. I, I'm, I'm in studio with Jay Z right now. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm turning down Jay Z's music. We've got better things to do, mate. No, I don't <laughs> know. Ridiculous. But do you see when he went to Chips Yard on that song? Mad thing, yeah. basically. Yeah, I saw That's... that. I didn't get that either, to be honest. The whole thing's just confusing. <laughs> so, like, I didn't think Stormzy is that guy to be rolling yeah, up on people. You're a multi-million egg. Like, and you're running up to people's cribs? I'm just this. I'm not. I'm was not, it? But was it like Chip's <laughs> mum that was like shouting at him thinking, you just think your nah, heart's running up here or something like that? Nah, I, I think like, his manager. Oh, manager. I was his manager. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that whole thing though was so mad to me because like, I remember reading about it on Twitter because obviously it was trending and then like, Shell Garage started getting involved in the beef, being like, "You can't film here ever again." It's just like, shut well, up. What? It's just it, the whole thing shambolic. It's all just shambolic, shambles. Fucked. Absolutely but, fucked. Yeah. But it does show though. Like, I think one thing that I read about Chip is that he's like the. He shows how great he is because he goes to war with everyone, the best mm. of the best, and somehow always comes out on top. So he never lost a rap beef. Ever, I swear, I've never no, seen him no, lose a rap yeah, beef. Even the bugs, he's spun him. Oh no, he's spun him. And the thing is, if he's not going to spin you with lyrics, he's just going to put give you so many songs you can't keep up, yeah. then you're finished. 100. 
And I kind of think like, obviously we like, the other scene that's coming up is the drill scene. And I'd say that's like the hottest in like black music at the moment in the UK. So I think mm. they can like kind of follow suit. You kind of saw that actually, I watched that Groundworks freestyle mm. in the end. And I thought mm. like the way you saw people who you wouldn't normally see together, like mm. it, it came off well, kind of thing. I think shout out to Groundworks for that because I was actually sick. It reminded me of just like the old school grime, mm. uh, grime era of just like ciphers. The only problem is with drill, like I don't think you can get, I don't think that some beats can be squashed because like mm. where things are in the area of social media, people can't take a violation. Yeah. Like if someone's filmed it and shown it to everyone or someone's saying this about you, that about you. So that's why it's a, it's a bit of a shame. Because there's certain, there's certain artists I would love to see together, like, you know, Tiona and um, Hedy One, that that would literally never happen. But, like, that would be a good collab to see. But, again, yeah. it never happen just because there's so much beef behind it. But I think a lot of these artists need to see where the money is, man. Like, they need to see that there's money to be made, bruv. Fuck the beef, make bread. Yeah, no, even, like, obviously I wanted to kind of go into, like, yeah, like, who have had beef and would be a sick collab. And I was even going to say, yeah, Tiona Wayne and... Oh, I'm sorry. What's it called? No, nah, they would make a banger to be fair, like an Af- like Afro kind of jaw thing. Would Crazy, be yeah. And another one I was thinking as well is actually, and this this is more likely because I don't think anything really serious happened out of it. But like, mm. I think if get some P money like jumped on a ground thing, like that would be flows sick. and everything would just be, would be, be so nuts. Sick. That could happen though. I think I think that could happen. I think that could happen. Because even um. Skeps and Gets had beef for time and they collabed like last year as well. So it's like, I think if it's not serious where it's not like bodies were dropped or like mm. no one was like violated in like a serious way, I think, yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely viable. I don't know. I think with some artists though, I just think it's a pride thing. But I think it's also like mandem as well. Like, because obviously mm. you can have your mandem. And where you've not liked someone, they're obviously gonna might have they're gonna probably be involved as well. So you can't just turn around and be like, actually, I'm not. Tr- I'm trying to make a song with my man, and then your your best friend or whatever is like, what? Do you remember he did this? He did that. Yeah. But I just think at the end of the day, people need to just see the peas. Like you might not have to like man, but geez, if you're gonna make money, man, who gives a fuck? Like literally, go get the bread, go get your coin, and like even I think even the fact that people don't like each other. Mm. We need to make the song even better. Even look like exactly. Chipsy, um, Chipsy, <laughs> Chip and Bugsy, <laughs> Chipsy as well. Uh, Chip and Bugsy, the yeah, fact yeah. they didn't like each other made made the song like ten times better. Like mm. the fact that they dropped it, like the promo behind it is sick. So, mm. like, man, them fucking make your peas, make your bread. Because not to be rude, but like the buzz of drill will will fall at some point. Oh, yeah, like, granted, yeah. it is going to. It's not mm. gonna stay like this. It is gonna plateau at some point. And it is then gonna drop. People are just gonna get bored of the sounds, which it is what it is. And then the, yeah. chance, the sound will change. But you don't want to lose out on bread and opportunities because you can't perform here because this artist there. You don't want to like lose all of that opportunity just because of beef. I hear it's deep. I'm not even saying it's not deep, mm. but like I think people need to see the bigger picture, in my opinion. But is what I, it's... I think. I think as well. It's it's kind of poor management because I I'm never gonna forget like the video of um, Tion Wayne and Hedy like beefing on that plane. Like, your management must know yeah, man, that you're both going to be on the plane at the same time. Like, why the fuck would you do that? And yeah. like, obviously, bare people have, like, filmed it, posted it all over Twitter and stuff. Like, that's just bad. Like, bad, no bad manager, PR person, anyone should be allowing that to happen. It's just peak. Yeah, but I think really that's peak. another, like, pride thing, where, like, if they saw the other person was going on that flight or they heard, they'll be like, oh, no, I'm not going to be the one to back out. And then the other person yeah. will be like, no, nah, I'm not going to be the one to back out. So, yeah, you're right. People have just got to move smarter. Like, I'm not too much think of, like, a pride thing. Think, oh, I don't want to look weak or... Yeah, know, yeah. Like, got to think of the bigger picture. But it's, it's, I'm kind of happy, though, that, that that situation anyway, did it, I, thought, I thought when I saw that they were, both, they were all finished. Like, fighting mm. on a plane. On a I plane. I, I thought that was it. I was like, yeah, that's it. They might are going to Dubai jail. I don't even know if the Dubai's got nice jails, got nice hotels. Don't think their jails are very nice. But I just thought that was it. But luckily they bust it. But the issue with that, yeah, is that them might not realise 
those are the little fi- not little fi- they're not it's not little but those are the things that follow your you in your career mm. so if you want to go perform in america for example they might just be like actually no we saw that video of you fighting on a plane you're not allowed in the country and then now you just lost out on a bag in or or, or a big a big check in america just because you were beefing on a plane again i know it's deeper than that but see the bigger picture don't fucking fight on a plane don't fucking make sense yeah but, no i agree Completely agree easier said it's easier said than done i guess i'm not in the street so i don't know yeah and even on top of that, Heady One just came out of like Joe top of 2020, in it. So you kind of got to be walking the street and narrow. So right. yeah, you yeah everyone was going to Dubai at that point. So <laughs> I know now Dubai seemed to be the thing in 2020. You know, Fine. you know what I'm saying art collection Dubai 2024. We're getting there. <laughs> or, or 2021 at this point, because I swear right. COVID is still going to happen. Oh, <laughs> the rest of the year. It's big. <laughs> Oh, oh man. but it's what it is that I guess. But what other artists though do you think like would be a sick like sick for like a collab and that? that well, I kind of said this, this is this is one to the left here, but I remember I, I forgot what awards it was, but like IMDDB and um Steph London had a beef. But I nah, thought, that's gonna be trash. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna I nah, have, I thought that's gonna be... the dance sort thing, it might be live. Nah, that's gonna be horrendous. What no, I IMDDB and Steph London? Oh my god. No, <laughs> don't release that. That'll be horrendous. Um, watch, watch when it comes here yeah, and you guys are eating your words. <laughs> oh, bah, yeah, bah, I don't think that's going to happen. What, about, what, what, do, what do you think, Armour, mate? The uh, Steph on the line, DDP? Armour Pro. I don't, I don't <laughs> even know how you would make that. What like, kind of song? I don't know. Yeah, what kind of song would they a make? So even MDDP's last single was a dance sort thing. And yeah, album. lit, by the way. Steph, Steph London, song. she's like, UK dancehall queen, innit? So, no, she's Afro East now, technically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Burner Boy turned her to the dark side. I said, shout out Burner. <laughs> Burner Boy. But yeah, what, what other artists are you? I'm trying to think. Uh, I think Tiona T- T- and the, um, that was one. Um, I'm trying to think drill, drill wise. Ooh, I, I guess with the drill, you got like Sneak Boy and like, LD, but even that, it's nah, like, like eh, I even forget that that man beef. Yeah. To be fair, yeah, but that was obviously a couple of years back. Mm. Oh, do you know what? Uh, Zone Two and um, the, that group that they're beefing, that that they did that no sensor song. I think it's Moscow Seventeen. Oh yeah, Moscow Seventeen. Yeah, yeah. I think well, when Moscow Seventeen were popping anyway, that that mm-hmm. would have been a sick collab. But again, that can never happen. Never happen. Oh, that no. one can never. <laughs> But I think that would that would be good. But it's it's, it's peak though that um the drill I get I guess because it come from America, but a lot of drill is just kind of about like the beefs, which is not mm. kind of good. But yeah, yeah no, I, think, I think they kind of got a switch there. And yeah, that like because even on the um the art collection blog today, like I posted the artist Central C. Shout out to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's kind of like flip the jaw thing. Like I kind of mentioned in the, in the last episode, but he kind of put like jazzy melody over like jaw patterns. Even his last thing that he released mm. yesterday, Pingin, which is like more of like a oriental jaw mix in it. So mm. I think with the whole jaw thing, like it's definitely, it's viable in it, but you kind of got to come with your, your own unique thing. I definitely. think. If you're just coming with a beef thing or straight violent thing or like no kind of flavor with it, mm. like other artists, even like someone like Blanco, I think not only will it be hard for you to cut through, but the beef as well, it's just gonna your your business is it's not gonna be able to like flourish basically. I, I the thing is, I feel like the drill sound is evolving anyway. Like mm. I feel like, I mean, we we're seeing it. So, I mean, that's a perfect example, but I, yeah, I feel like more people are going down like the less like aggressive route with drill. Like, yeah. you know, I've, I've definitely heard artists, it's even in the U S like female artists, like singing over drill beats, mm. like it's literally just becoming that now. And obviously mm. people are like experimenting with the whole like R and B thing with drill. You know, you've got a lot of like the U S rappers now jumping on drill tracks. So everyone's just trying to like spin like their own versions of it. I mean, the same thing happened with, because you could kind of say like with trap as well, you could mm. say it with grime and, and rhythm and grime. Mm. Um, 
so yeah, I feel like it's just going to keep evolving, which is kind of sick because everyone's just getting more and more creative. And obviously, you got you got artists like Blanco that's doing like the by the funk thing as well. Mm. Even like with um, even like Afro drill now, where you got um, like artists. I think there's there's some artists in Ghana and I forgot their name, but they're sick. Oh yeah, you know what's, what's his name? Yeah, Jermaine was telling me about um, yeah. Afro in Ghana. Oh no, it's it's going off. Oh no, serious. I still oh, haven't heard it. You know. Oh no, I'm gonna link it. I'm so yeah. sorry to it. I'm next episode. I swear, I'm gonna get the names of these artists. They are ridiculous. Man. Um, there's are... one. I can't remember. I think there's one that was linked to me the other day called Omo Frenchy. Oh, my Frenchie. I'm trying to that think. I think was on Link Up or something like that. Yeah, no, that name is like brilliant. Yeah, definitely. No, and the track is actually called Afro Drill. I just looked it up. Literally what it says on the tin. We love that. Marketing. See, Marco, see, I know about marketing too. Yeah, man does them things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, there's another, even Charlie Mace as well. He's got some song called Aye, which is literally him like, singing in Yoruba on a drill song. And it's just ridiculous. It's just you need, crazy. You need to link me these, man. Bro, I'll put you on, mate. I'll put you on. But I think, like, like, like I'm saying, it's literally having that experimenting with the sound is kind of what will keep it alive. And mm. also what I like as well is where draws quite kind of a simple, I think it's kind of simple to make. I don't really make, I can't make music, but it seems quite simple to make. The better, <laughs> it's like, yeah. It's no, it is. It, it, <laughs> I'm not having it. <laughs> I said, yeah. But um, <laughs> like the better producers, are gonna obviously put their own their own expertise on it to make it take it to that next level. Because you know, like when you hear like an M1 on the beat, for example, or um MK the plug, they're yeah. different from your bog standard um yeah. you know drill drill producer. Their their thing is different just because they're like, experts in their field. So I think that's how it will kind of be going. Afro drill. I've even seen Basma drill. Man. <laughs> so I'm telling you I guess um, Unknown T kind of did it with uh, yeah yeah back in the yeah back in I, I was going to say as well like I feel like that that is basically what separates like someone who just makes a random drill beat from like an M1 on the beat or or something it's the same with um I mean obviously I listen to quite a lot of like US rap music but if you've got like the likes of like say like Pierre Bourne versus uh, I don't know like a Wheezy or something like that, mm. you can definitely hear like the difference in like, the quality of beats between like loads of different producers. Mm. And I feel like as much as I was nodding my head saying drills easy to make, you kind of have to appreciate like definitely. a really experienced drill producer knows how to like layer those tracks, knows how to work with these artists like. That, I mean, I think M1 on the beat did a track with Drake, right? Yeah, he did the... Yeah, the um, the oh. one with Heady One, I think. Yeah, yeah. only you freestyle. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, you can imagine, like, you can't just have, like, some random young kid in the studio with Drake making drill. Like, mm. M1 on the beat's just, like, a different level. Yeah, actually, I'll, I'll link you... Years as well. I'll link you guys, actually, there's a there's a really sick series. That. Is that, that the I producer roundtable thing? Oh man, it's so sick. Amazing, amazing. It's actually so sick. And the thing is, they're all like, they all are exactly like what I want to see in producers, just like mm-hmm. excited about the genre. Mm-hmm. They're all like, you know, throwing things back and forth about artists they're produce, uh, producing for. They're like bigging each other up and stuff. Mm. It's just like proper like family orientated. But I'll send you a link, Denzel, is actually. Yeah, no, I'll check it out. Good. Because even the funny thing was um, when M1... Is it M1 on the beat? Or MK the plug? I always mix them up. That did the only... That's so M1, yeah. Yeah, M1, yeah so you must yeah. have said the story behind that, the, the what the collab with Drake and Heady was, it was one of the beats he just made and literally threw away. Was like, yeah, that's... Not threw away, but I was like, yeah, that's done. No one cares. Uh, and then literally, I think put in a beat pack, sent it to Heady, forgot mm. about it for months. I think even like months. Yeah, months or years, one of the two. Heady's then gone... Um, like, yeah, we like this one. I mean, Heady or Drake, one of the two. But obviously, knew Drake was involved. He goes, yeah, we, we like that beat. He's like, what, well, that one? He goes, yeah, yeah, we like, we like, we'll have that. Before you knew it, only you freestyle, video, everything, boom. Which makes and you man, like... That beat is hard as well. That's, that's hard, surprising. Hard. So it's funny with producers. They won't even hear sometimes, like, because mm. they're so much in their own head yet. Yeah, they won't even hear some of the sickest ones. They're like, yeah, that's another one. That's yeah. cool. That's another one I've just done. Mm. Which, is, which is fucking, which is proper sick anyway, that at least he got the, the shower anyway he must be so rich by the way um, eating. Oh, him and um axel beats as well 
Oh, no. he does like all the American. Oh. He works for like all the Americans, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. He was the one that was behind that. Like, um, Pop Smoke. Yeah, Pop Smoke. R.I.P. Um, Fivio Foreign. I hear, yeah, I'm not going to say no I was going to say. <laughs> he's, no. he's, by the way, um, sorry to cut you off. He had a new song with M24 today. Oh, today. yeah. No, Yesterday, I, I, sorry. Is it, is it good? Or is it? M20 actually this <laughs> comes on to our next point in it. Um I don't know if you M24 is sick. He is so good. His work rate is amazing. That mm. song is not good. Yeah, no, that, that the funny thing is yeah, I, I think he's good as well, but I do think the danger where he's going is like if he tries to do too much on the American draw thing. Mm. I haven't heard it in one of his songs that he released like last year. Mm. Kind of heard him doing like the Fivio foreign kind of yeah, like, Flip American music built in with like the flow and the ad libs in it. So I think now nah, like we've got our own thing here, so there's no need to mm. copy the Americans who are doing our thing already. So yeah, you, like, you know what? Yeah. Recently, I've been like, I need to find the this guy's name, but I think it came up on YouTube. But there's so many people doing like the. They're trying to sound like Pop Smoke. <laughs> and like, they're doing like the raspy voice. Shit, Baby, and it's just like, he? and it's like, this guy is actually like, he's blowing up in New York right now. And I think, I don't want to be quoted on this, but I don't know if he was in the same crew as Pop Smoke, but he sounds exactly like him. But like, everyone has kind of said like, I dig this, but I don't know how much of this I can be like, you're just biting. Yeah. <laughs> Pop Smoke's whole thing, you know. To be fair, even then, funny enough, but even with Pop Smoke, arguably he bit his whole sound from Abracadabra. Because remember, Abs was the original, like raspy, dark voice on drill. Obviously, he didn't really make as much music. Mm-hmm. And because, in my opinion, like they sound very similar. I really wanted before um, Pop Parsley sadly passed that um, he was going to make a song with Abs. I thought that would have been. Like an obvious, oh, yeah, no, nah, UK link up was coming, 100. that was due to happen. Yeah, Obviously, no, you know, um, he passed away, but I think Abs is the like, you know, but, but then again, that artist might just be the evolution of pop, mm. so it might just have to kind of um, just run with it. But I think, Actually, we'll get... did... Mm. no, did you listen to the um, it was on the Kid Cudi album, but the Skepta Pop Smoke track? Oh, yeah, that song's hard. I've been hearing it, but Actually I haven't listened sick. to it. Yeah, I'm my Skepta, it. Skepta showed it. I can't lie though, like, I did kind of skip over the Kid Cudi bit on it because it was yeah, just no, like. Kid Cudi uh, bit, yeah, it, just wasn't it, it was the same. Like, I, I mean, obviously, this is more of a UK podcast, but I do kind of think like listening to that that Kid Cudi album, I don't know, I feel like 10, year, 10 years ago, me would have loved it. Mm. But listening to it now, I just don't think, I don't know, I don't think that has any replay value apart from that, maybe that one track. Yeah, so I heard uh, Kid, Kid Cudi was on that party album as well and that song mm. was dead uh, yeah. I did not like that at all Ew, I'm, gonna eat. <laughs> I'm, gonna, uh, I'm, I'm still waiting eat. for that deluxe you know oh god <laughs> nah it's gotta come man we, we, we need the, the real version of Kid Cudi like we need that boy mm. but yeah nah I kind of yeah wanted to go on like onto like trends that we might see in 2021 and I was thinking like on the the drill thing like you got artists like Digger D who like because his last song, um Chingy, mm. you saw him like incorporate the dancing into it. Yeah. I do think like that we're due to see more of that, even though we even saw that with Russ and that, because obviously mm. you put the dance in, it goes on TikTok. I'm not gonna say big figures doing the dance, it. it helps the song blow up. Yeah, most yeah. definitely. I think we've with uh with the with the birth of TikTok and the way TikTok TikTok is like the biggest social media platform oh yeah like, I mean. in the world it is just the biggest I think don't quote me but it seems like the biggest one at the moment so I think with um like the best thing to do is have the dances because even look for example with um don't rush don't rush came out oh again, yeah like two years ago on TikTok yeah it didn't blow on TikTok but yeah two years ago it dropped mm. then the, everyone did the don't rush challenge the song went like double platinum or something stupid like that. So if you if you're smart as an artist, use your avenues of TikTok and that, and I think we're going to see bare dances, bare different dances. Oh, there'll be a lot. There'll be a lot. Like I, I know a lot more producers. I mean, even like 
people that just make edits that just post them on there mm. and like i think one i don't know if it was there's a producer called lazy flow i can't remember if it, if it was one of his tracks but one of them just blew and like everyone was doing dances to it everything and then suddenly it's like soundcloud numbers just went up like overnight if you went to bed that night overnight did you like 100k plays or something like that bro that's crazy mad because even yeah, at that, that's the a, thing you can blow out of nowhere bro yeah. that, even that challenge now the greatest challenge of all time what's it called again where the um of uh, the bus oh, challenge, the challenge. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> bro, that challenge is a, a, a relationship ender, man <laughs> I don't know what I'll do in that situation, mate. I don't know what I'll do. But, uh, bro, ridiculous. And that song now is going to, like... Because what... Oh, yeah, I think, that... Bro, that song will blow. And I think what you kind of have to appreciate as well is where we don't have nightclubs to carry songs, mm-hmm. TikTok is, like, the new... Not the new nightclub, but, like, challenges and that are the new... Yeah. Where you have to play the song again and again, and then you have to play it to yeah. practice to it. You have to play it to record it. Then you're hearing it. Then you might just want to listen to it. Then I think that's where the music's kind of gonna kind of gonna kind of go now, but mm. with that challenge especially, ladies keep it coming. Well yeah. done, beautiful, beautiful. I think it was um, it was reported as well, like a couple of like the major record labels as well, like poured loads of money into TikTok. Oh yeah, nah, that's what they're doing. That's what. That's why they're even. That's like, well, I know like especially like Atlantic in it. There was a whole like era where they were just signing like social media or like youtube stars in it mm. so it's the same thing whatever they see is like doing the numbers on like social media or online and they're just gonna go for that because that's all they really care about is the numbers to be honest so mm. Most yeah, you, they so tried to give that who is it the um what's his name alex from glastonbury oh it's- the the yeah, it, bro good. they gave him they they basically yeah he had the best summer of his life he was probably getting loads of loads of women he had like a boohoo man deal Man, you got he then had a record man. he had like a record deal as well so he released one single and then everyone said now nah, this guy's just like a regular teenager he was just on MD and that's <laughs> it man, was like this oh no nah, that nah, that was. I don't know. I'm just going to fucking say it. That boy got there because he's a white boy, isn't it? Fucking hell. He oh, literally... I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. He was the ultimate yeah. plan. That's the old... What the fuck? He literally... Like, what he did anybody... I'm not being... Nah, I don't care. What he did anybody can do, G. He copied the bars he knew because he came to Glastonbury, saw mm. Dave. Oh, I know Dave. Knew the bars. Like, everybody else know the bars. And you're telling me you got a record deal, boohoo, and... No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. You're taking a pick. I mean, you, ne- you never know. It could have been a record deal plant from the from the beginning. Like, you know what? I, I genuinely think that that was the reason why Thiago Silva actually signed for Chelsea. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's my right. <laughs> actually. <laughs> Star dog. Star dog. Anyway, speaking of trends in Find out about that song until <laughs> that Alex freestyled it. And the, the oh, song yeah, is sure. like two years old as well. <laughs> It's true. Like, he had a two years too late. Yeah, nice. RIP, RIP, AJ. Uh, trends in 2021. So I'm going to say boot cuts. Um, but yeah, go on. I said boot cuts. <laughs> mm, I'm not even going to get on to you for that because I think that might be the angle. I think... Bro, I actually don't... You know what? I genuinely think boot cuts will be the end thing. And then I think... Mm. I, I want to normalise... This is what I want to normalise. <laughs> I want to normalise, like, boot cuts and Astros. No, like, CT, no CT, CT, Boot bro. cuts and Astros... <laughs> Was it old school? Let's take it back to 2005. So you're ready? What? Like, what rave, rave or football? What are we gonna go with? A bit of both. Now nah, both, both. You gotta be, you gotta be multi-terrain. <laughs> I said you gotta be versatile. Oh my! You gotta have, co- you, co- you gotta have like your Avisu, Avisu, like hey. um, like jeans with like the total nineties. <laughs> Bro, I can't lie. Back in the day, you have that. What you're getting all the bitches? What? You got Astros, total nineties. What red and silver? And you got yourself some BVC Jesus. Oh, you you're getting all they bitches. Oh, that, that just, you know that whole look just reminds me. Uh, I mean, like it was like school disco type oh, type man. thing. But get yourself your, your two your two tokens. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself a little That's drink, good. a little hot dog. If you're you've got if the, you're kinda... for, for me, I've got my like Alberta Balsam <laughs> hair gel in with oh, the, with the short sleeve shirt. Oh my god, bro! Do you know that? And then, oh, what was that shirt everyone used to wear? The um bottom one with the fire. 
The Flames, yeah. The Flames, the faster one. Oh my God, that top, yeah. Just scream cancel estate, bro. I used to see that. I'm like, yo. You nah, know. The good thing is you'll look sick in the dance floor, but you also ping like a top right corner <laughs> goal. True. Hey, but life was simple. We didn't have COVID back then. You just had no source. It's funny, we're laughing, but this is how Americans dress now. Mm. Americans have no It dress. actually is. Like, when, no I went to, when I went to New York last time, like I... So I, like... When was that? That was, like, what? 2017? And I was wearing, like... Um, like a lot of people, like, here, like, they cuff their jeans and, like, cuff their trousers, right? Mm. And, like, wear, like, wherever shoes. Out there, they all wear, like, boot cuts. Like, always boot cuts. Right. Like, everything. Disgrace. An absolute disgrace. You have yeah. these... These expensive shoes you're covering. Sorry, this is not even a fashion podcast, but fuck it. You have your, your expensive shoes and you're covering it with boot cut, bruv. Jump out the window, you fucking float down. What the fuck, bruv? Actually, you know what? We're not a fashion podcast, but what, what do you actually think will be a fashion trend this year? I'm actually really curious what you guys think. I think it's going to... I personally think it's going to be like... I think it's, I, it's back to comfy season. Like. Yeah, it's going to be trackies, yeah. like mm. just trackies, because mm. we're not going to be out and about and like... Yeah, man, I think it's gonna be track suit heavy. So mm. I don't know though. I'm not really, I'm not really a forward thinker like that. What do, what do you guys think? Uh, except for boot cuts and astroturf. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, nah, I think definitely like jogging bottoms, comfy sneakers, mm. like your yeah, just stuff that you can wear about in the house, isn't it? Because obviously everyone's in now. It's not like everyone's. Out and about, so because they should be staying at home, shouldn't they? Not mixing, <laughs> they should be staying at home, yeah. No, I, home. I definitely think everyone's going for I, I've seen it a lot online, even on my Instagram. People buying like the there's like the fear of God essentials thing. I love that tracksuit, I love bro. It. it looks so hard, and then like <laughs> br- uh, the, the colors pressing. that are oh. the colors that are like in right now as well as like brown, beige. Yeah, like that kind of color. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sick. The, them all on oh, you, No, you, you definitely seen it, then. Um, do you, you do you know the groundwork freestyle? Oh, is it the one that um dig a D? Yeah, it's just that she says essential on it. So oh, essential, you want to? Sorry, fear of God, you want to sponsor? I am here for you. I want. I am here for you. And Nike, <laughs> no, I'm hard. here for you. Actually, I think the designer. Oh god, this is actually taking us a fashion podcast. <laughs> um, the designer of fear of God is now. Apple. Nah, you know what? He actually did sign a deal for Adidas and he's going to produce the whole NBA range of clothing for Adidas. Oh, and, um, and also, last fashion point, Virgil Abloh is <laughs> releasing the range of Nike shoes again. The 10. I don't know if you remember that, like from like 2017 or 2018. What, the off white ones? Like yeah, the, the off white ones. The destru- deconstructed ones. Deconstructed ones, but oh, they're all yeah, going to be like yeah. yellows, whites, like all different colors. Yeah, 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 I'm here. I'm here. Anything that Virgil drops that's not shit because he knows when he's dropping shit that Kanye uh, influence needs to leave him. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. All right, Peter, cut. let me not say nothing. Say, no, but say Virgil it. just needs to remember to donate more than um, than 50 quid to, um, to George okay. Floyd. Why would sorry? Why would you drop that on social media? Like, if you're gonna do it, do it. That's fine. Why are you flexing? I know you gotta do that quietly. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, oh, no, it's you as well. And then you decided, yo, everybody, please donate. 50, was it fifty pound? But we can't even buy anything from you for fifty pounds. No, he, he definitely put the he, he put those fifty dollars in in quotation marks to sound <laughs> ironic. <laughs> no, nah, fam, that's when you know you're lost in your own world. When, oh, big man, I'm trying to get to that flex that stuff. Man. That's them Kanye West, Little Wayne, all them man. They're just oh, in the fuck way, Lil, sorry, so I mean we're going off topic. Fuck Lil, fuck Lil Wayne in it. I'll fuck uh, what's his name Lil Pump. Fuck them both in it because they both were back at Donald Trump. Fuck you, your music shit. Except Lil Wayne, I'm not gonna lie, yours is not. But Lil Pump music shit. I will fuck you both. No, I, 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 I just like them both. Like even after like listening to Lil Wayne growing up and the shit, I could not back anything they he does like going forwards but I'm, i mean i'm here for kanye and jeffrey star though <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh bro. kanye and jeffrey star that one was from the left that's hazardly ro- that is fucked no nah, i can't, I have I can't... To start a clubhouse room just just with that as the title <laughs> i just see what happens oh bro imagine just bare people like did it happen did it happen maybe <laughs> maybe not i don't know 
I can either confirm or deny. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that room was one that took me for a spin. I can't even lie. Uh, but, but we don't yeah, judge no. if that's your choice. That's your business. Um, yeah, exactly. Exactly. But yeah, no, on the, on the trends thing, yeah, I think music wise, obviously, because artists can't tour, DJs can't play out, mm. I think you're just going to see a lot more like streaming of like shows and performances. Yeah. And I think even depending on the COVID situation, like with the festivals in it, I think if things don't clear up by then, like even festival performances will probably be streamed. When do you, oh. when do you, sorry to leave and cut you off, but when do you think they'll, like, do you think festivals will come up back this year or next year or even the year well, after? I'm, I'm seeing festivals that, that are promoting for this summer. So Yeah, they're cracked out. It's not coming out this <laughs> summer. I don't know what they're on. What, what do you think is going to happen though? Because I was actually going to ask you guys this about the summer because everyone mm. keeps saying the summer is going to be the greatest thing ever. And I'm just like, part of me is excited about potentially having some sort of like normality by the summer but i can't imagine like getting on a flight for like outlook or some shit like nah. that's just never gonna happen i Bro. think they'll, they'll definitely figure out something whether it'll be streaming or whether it'll be like you have to be in like flipping they'll like section off mm. like the the area that like the standing area I think they will figure something out. I like, think it will end up being like a COVID passport. Like if you have the vaccine, mm. then you can basically go to the festival. If you don't have the vaccine, then you can't go to the festival. So I think that's all will end up happening because I think a lot of these, the hospitality industry, as soon as they can, they need to start trading. Like they need to start trading again. Yeah. Because, you know, these businesses, like the smaller festivals are all finished. Like so a lot of them won't come back. But like your Glastonbury's and stuff like that, like they need, as soon as possible to kind of get back on their feet and start um, working. The, the so, thing that the thing that fucks me up the most about this whole thing is like, oh man, this whole Brexit thing has pained me ever since I voted Remain, yeah? And the fact that Boris, as part of his deal, was actually given a clause that would basically protect touring artists. So if you were to travel away from the UK or travel to the UK, you wouldn't incur like any extra charges, any extra fees. Because obviously if you go somewhere like um, the US or even mm -hmm. Canada or Australia, you've obviously got to declare that you're earning while you're out there. Mm -hmm. And I think you have to pay, I don't, know, I don't know exactly how it works, if you have to pay the local tax or something. Mm -hmm. But because you're earning while you're out there, you have to declare it. Boris was presented with this whole thing about protecting artists who want to play here, travel from here, go elsewhere. And he just said, no, let's put this deal through. No, that guy's a mock. That's what I'm going to say. And I, and I don't think, that motherfucker. and the thing is as well, like, I, I, I obviously, I've been quite open about it on social media, but this whole thing about like, Sadiq Khan coming in and then the night czar all saying like, oh, we're going to protect the nightlife scene. We're going to do all this for London and all of this. Literally, even before COVID, I saw more bars mm. or more clubs turn into wine bars than I did actually, like, preserving any nightlife. So I can't imagine what it's going to be like now. No, I speak because the, the demographic that they want in London, like, they, they want a certain type of person. A certain type of person will go to a wine bar as opposed to a nightclub. A certain type of person will go to a bar rather than a nightclub. And they want those certain type of people that can afford to live in Shoreditch, for example, afford to live in Hackney. They don't want, you know people that should like they don't want it to be open for everyone they want to keep it locked up for certain people and that's what that's you know that's the most frustrating part of it because at the end of the day like if they really had common sense they would realize the amount of money the hospitality industry brings in people like to get fucked up they love it mm. people live for the weekend people no, spend me. all their wage at the weekend like mm. it's not good but people do it but it's just because it doesn't it's the, not the right kind of person that they want they want to kind of bring those people in and i just think it's short-sighted and it's not going to work. And then I think we'll end up London being a place where people don't really go out partying. I think that's what it's going to end up like. People will not really go out. They'll just go to a bar. Then if you want to go partying, you kind of have to venture out a bit more, which is kind of shit. Yeah, oh, no, no, I, as well. Yeah, go on, Denzel. Yeah. Go no, on. but I was just going to say, yeah, I did see that change before because even on Dawson High Street, in it, there used to be so many different clubs mm. 
But like all of them have just been turned into sports visions. cars, isn't it? Yeah, visions. R.I.P. Back on the end, it was birthdays visions. Well. Birthdays, the nest. Mm. Yeah, alibi. Um, yeah. Oh, alibi. Yeah, alibi wow. as well. Yeah, wow. they all got locked off, in it? So it was even before this COVID situation, mm. it's, you kind of saw, yeah, which way they're going. They, they definitely want a certain demographic there and they're just... And that's certain demographic. The court, the court. That's certain demographic. When I turn up to certain places, act like we shouldn't be there, but we're not ready for that conversation, are we, Armour? Bro, they're, they're the same people that you'll be playing. Uh, I don't know you'll be playing like, um, let's say, like just like some techno at like 130 BPM, and they'll go, oh, "Have you got any Lana Del Rey?" Mm, mm, and you're like, yeah. "No, we fucking haven't." Oh, yeah, I, fuck off. I will never forget. Actually, this having that peck and levels. And it's, this always sticks in my mind just because of how like annoyed we were <laughs> that night. But it was when I said no to this girl three times because she kept saying about like, have you got any Beyonce? I was like, I no, I have not got any Beyonce. <laughs> and then she literally comes over and then she just like touches the deck and then just walks off. The whole music stops. I'm like, right, okay, cool. Right, yeah, it's, that's, it's like that. That certain demographic are so self-entitled that are... Oh, well, you should play what I like because I pay money to be here. So it's my opinion of everybody else's. Even though yours, anyway, we're having a rant here. I'm better than that. <laughs> I'm better than that. Fuck you. I'm no, better no. than that. I'm better than that. Yeah, no, but it just is what it is, though. Yeah, no, there's a special place in hell for them times. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can't condemn people for this. What the fuck? We're having a bit of banter, then, bro. There's a special God, place <laughs> Oh my days. But yeah, no, I kind of like to end that. I kind of, mm. since we're in 2021, 20, kind of like pick an artist that I think has been grinding for time, but definitely deserves to blow. And I don't know, I was kind of go, going to go for um, Young's Teflon. Obviously, he's, he's been around for time. He's had a, definitely a couple like bangs slash hits with like Nanda, Fire Water. But I think with the talent he has, he should definitely be be bigger than he is. And yeah, hopefully you can do something this year, mm. basically. Ooh, do you want to go, Armour? Should I go? Yeah, you go. Uh, I've got a bit, I've got a few names. He's got I don't a know to go to... Calm. Yeah. Um, I was thinking this one's tough. Um, I was going to go, because I keep basically going back and forth with some people. But for me... Yeah, I don't know if it's a cop out, but I'm gonna say Abra, Abs, Abdabra. Mm. I think where maybe he, I want to say like he's been gr- grinding as hard as everyone else, but I feel like he's kind of in a space where things that like he's clicked and he's like shit. Like I'm actually the, I'm I'm the guy. And you know when he dropped on deck, spin this coop, you know the Abra Kadabra freestyle. Like he's literally, if he takes it seriously mm. and goes all in and forgets all this road bullshit. I swear you'll like you'll be the new you'll be the next you'll be the next guy because I think him, Dave, um, like they're the the younger top tier rappers I see. Like yeah. they're the younger they're younger, but realistically they're the best at what they do. Yeah. So especially with I think maybe Abs hearing how Pop Smoke blew, probably kind of hearing that like, oh shit like yeah this we, sound can go this sound can make sense made on deck what <laughs> bro when I hear that in a club I'm taking off my top. Belly or no belly, I'm you even had, you, have, shirt. you even had that track with um, K Trap, I think, as well. K Trap. What's that? I don't remember. Let me try to find it. But um, I think me, Ab, Abacadabra, I think this is his year. He's been working and getting high, but I think this is his time to kind of put his put his head down. Oh, and, yeah. yeah. Called new up block, sir. Yeah, yeah, new up block. We are trying to find my route. Ah! So, sorry, I'm going to stop. <laughs> stop. I stop. But yeah, I think I don't me. know. I, I'm gonna throw in like a. This might be like an odd one, but you can't shout. You can't say yourself, by the way. Just for the yeah, I, I'm actually up and coming. <laughs> I, I am the sound of. I'm the AC sound of 2021. Obviously, um, obviously. But uh, I, I'm actually gonna say. I mean, I know that you've. I think you've seen her live, Denzel. But I might actually see, say Green Tea Peng. Oh yeah, yeah, she, yeah, yeah. She's, she's actually happy. been releasing since. I think 2017 and she's kind of she's she's really popular but she's flown under the radar and i feel like last year with covid like 
not being able to tour and everything kind of slowed slowed that down but she just has like released like so much incredible music and i think at the end of last year she released something um that i want to actually find the name of so i'm not yeah it uh, might be like, human was, you know i think it's human and there were spells as well oh but, yeah yeah but yeah no like so sick like proper like kind of like jazz r&b like really kind of underground sounding i don't know just so sick and i feel like i think she was actually on the list for the bbc sound of 2021 as well mm-hmm. um but yeah just so sick and i think yeah hopefully she has a quite a big year this year yeah and no, i think with her as well what she does like her visuals are just they're like American standard, like what we'd normally consider like the, the top tier. And like, yeah. she always comes with like unique ones as well. So I think that's definitely something that can make her stand out as well. She gives me um like Erica Badu. Oh yeah, yeah, vibes. that's what I was thinking as well. Definitely. Got one, more, got one more, uh, Chado Raka as well from Hulk. Oh yeah, my guy, so my fucking guy. I think, yeah, he's, he's putting out the right content. Bars are sick. So he just needs that track. So yeah, he's been he's, he's released um one of his songs Darcy is on like one million plus, I think even two million. Mm. So yeah, I'll I'll shout him out as well. Actually, I think if he makes the right moves at the right time and things fall into place, he's definitely gonna bust, in my opinion. So yeah, Chado Raka. Yeah, no, nah, big up him. And he released um Helly Hansen. Helly Hansen just dropped that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just dropped that as well. That's that is a we need to get that, to collect that sponsorship, you know. I don't know. He used to get that sponsorship from Helly I know, true. It's, it's not even his first one, actually. It's, it's fourth, fourth, one. Yeah, fourth one. I've actually seen a lot of brands sponsoring, like, like up-and-coming artists. I saw, like, a few people getting sponsored by, like, Carhartt recently. AC as well. No, as in sponsor us, people. Sponsor us. Thank you. Continue. I mean, if Carhartt, <laughs> if Carhartt wants to sponsor us... <laughs> Um, I don't know, Rick Owens, Rashford. Obviously, I've got the car like, out on now, so yeah. Exactly. LV, I don't know, Armani, <laughs> something. Yeah, there's something any, anything, like, Prada, whatever. Prada, I don't know, I don't know. you know, fear of God, I don't know. Yeah, we're open. <laughs> Talk to us. <laughs> oh, my day. <laughs> Obviously, we need the, the Chanel for the cheeks and checks as well. Come on. <laughs> oh, no, don't talk too much. Don't worry. Cheeks and checks is coming soon. <laughs> coming soon. <laughs> Coming to your favourite bad be near you. <laughs> but yeah, no, no, definitely. But yeah, like, definitely, even though things are still looking weird with performances, artistically, it's definitely looking like promising for, for 2021. Obviously, Armour's got some some bangers coming as well, some releases. <laughs> yeah, I've got, yeah, I've got my first, well, I'm, I've had it like ready for a while, but I've got this 160 tape, which is just all going to be basically like jungle footwork, Jeez. like everything all in one tape that I've been making the last like couple of years. Um, so I'm more excited some, about it, bro. Bro, I actually made some <laughs> DMB last year, like last year, just some random drum and bass stuff. Wait, well, is it like that? Oh, is, is, is it like that roller shit where it's like bare minimal? There's got like one sound. That shit's lit. That shit's crazy. Yeah, well, no, I've been like, hearing no, about that genre this year. Apparently, that's the new in thing with the with the youngers, rollers. Yeah, now rolling DMB. I've been banging that for. Uh, it's like it's not like jump up that crazy shit that you used to hear in like Shinobi. Mm. It's like vibe, but it's hard. It's lit. That's the shit rolling. But I don't God, know who jump the... up, jump up DMB at uni used to be the thing, man. Oh, yeah, when people God. off their face, but on crack. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> Fucking crack. Yeah, they call it they call it MD, I call it crack. Yeah, yeah. Crack. crack. <laughs> no, minimal minimal DMB is fun. Oh, yeah. although like I can't I don't I can't imagine like minimal DMB and like minimal techno, because minimal techno is so like boring. I can't <laughs> no, listen no. to that. It just sounds like the same song, like forever. Yeah, it's just it's just yeah, it's sick to mix though. It's hella it's hella long, so you're there. You're there in the mix for four four minute mix. Yeah, yeah. bring it so back. They're, they're like then then one piano key <laughs> plays, and everyone's like, "Oh my god! Oh my! Did you hear the drop? Yes, yeah, seven minutes in. What the fuck do you expect? <laughs> oh my days! Nah, but yeah, I've got I've got that dropping um, next Bandcamp Friday, which I think yes, yeah, the fifth of February. So yeah, gonna gonna finish that. That's gonna be ten tracks of all one sixty. 
BPM stuff. And then I've got a couple more things planned under Arthur Reed, so like more hip hop influence stuff, and then I've got the drill stuff as well. Jeez. What's your drill? What's your uh, drill, uh, drill moniker? Um, oh god, I don't know. You know, you know, it's a fan one. It's, it's, it's gonna be up. Armory. Armory. Oh, a dead Armory. Oh, Armory. oh Armory. no! All right, your first tape is called Skeng. <laughs> <laughs> Skeng. That's it. Bally. <laughs> Next one, Bally. Last one of Op Block. Nah, I, I have like I've still got the drill stuff going, but. Just that kind of R and B sound, mm. so I have to make it like a like a sweet boy tape, yeah. C- cert- certified armor boy. <laughs> well, that, uh, that's the that's the new genre coming though, rhythm and drill. That's the new thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Have Beyonce singing on drill? <laughs> Oi! Oh, wow. you know what? There's so many sick like um, that Lady Gaga drill remix. Bro. I actually want to be in the club to listen to that, bro. I don't it's even ridiculous. care. Ridiculous! Is that he's like what song? What song is he singing again? Um, uh, oh, still ain't heard it, you know. Uh, less is less dance, yeah. Is it is is, is less dance, isn't it? No, it is. It's less one. dance, yeah, and yeah. she's singing, and his someone's put it over a drill thing. Oh my god, yeah. bro, bro, Billy in a split. Let me smoke it. That thing is loud. No, <laughs> I, I actually think that shots will ring off when that plays in the club. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I just turn around, I just see armor there, just shooting. What are you doing, <laughs> brother? This is hard. So yeah, we can't shoot in a nightclub, mate. Yeah, wait, this is cold. <laughs> To Lady Can't. Gaga drill remixes. Oh my god! Just reloading clips for it. Nah, I need nah, to that, get that. that sounds like a mad mix to be honest. Nah, defo. So we'll send it over. Calm, calm, calm. But well, I think yeah, we'll, we'll end it. End it there. We got um. Hopefully, yeah, we got the first guest of 2021. Hopefully, we got the art collection merch coming as well. With, um, Cheeks and checks. Obviously, obviously. So look out for that. But yeah. He's cool. Out. And then if um if anyone wants to beef us about Astros and boot cuts, just um my my Instagram name is Armor Sounds, and I'm prepared to have a conversation about why <laughs> you, you might get some ads. I said I'm prepared for this conversation, yeah. And um what else do I want to say? I need to say something wild. Um I don't know. I was going to something normal. Well, Boris, think... suck your mother. Sorry. Yeah, but no. Boris is a, yeah. Boris is definitely suck his mum. But yeah, we we should definitely get on a uh, get on Clubhouse at some point and do like a live thing as well. Yeah, definitely. So sign up Actually, to Clubhouse. You know what, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that tonight. I'm gonna start a <laughs> Astros and Bootcuts room. Oh, oh my god, you need you need help. You, you Bro, need you're gonna help. get some weird characters in that room. <laughs> imagine imagine it blows though. Like the bare people in there. Like yeah, I've been thinking about this as well. You know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like you want to go clubbing, but you want to go five aside as well. So they're a bit no, of a burn. No, nah, they're my people. They're my people. Bro, it's I know you've got the swag there ready. Back it out, bro. You got this. No, nah, I've already I've already got my Astros on. I know you do. I know you do. My yeah. total night is red, <laughs> the red and fast. silver. <laughs> <laughs> nah, cool. Oh, man. But yeah, art collection yeah, we'll be... soon. Mixtape soon. Mixtape soon. Um, this will be out on Monday. Yeah, that money in it. Yeah, so my drill mix will be out on Wednesday. So I'm mixing all my drill, all the ghetto shit. Yeah, oh, yeah looking forward to that. So that'd be lit. I'm gonna mix it up today, whipping. And I, have my, I have my Bally and Shank ready for that, bro. Do I Bally Shank and Skengs only? I'm bad bees and I'm bust it challenges only, only. No <laughs> energy, bust it. <laughs>